Hey, what's up? Ed here and welcome. So, fixing that annoying rolling bar when sharing computer monitors or CRTs is what we are going to cover now. Intro, please. In a lot of TV series and some not so high end movies where no effort was made to deal with the rolling black bar that appears on the old CRTs including computer monitors and uh, old TVs as well. Uh, the thing that calls for this quick video, here's a tip for you, actually a couple. <laughs> when videotaping a scene where a CRT computer monitor screen is visible, usually a rolling black bar will appear on the computer screen inside the video image. This is caused by the different refresh rates that are typically used for computer monitors or old TVs. NTSC video is refreshed at 29.97Hz. C video is refreshed at 29.97Hz. While it is more typical for computer monitors to use refresh rates as 72, 85 um, and, and up. 24 frames per, per second shooters, which is really 23.98 Hz, will see a different size and speed of the rolling black bar. The black bar, which will vary in size and speed depending on the scan rate of the computer monitor, is the black in interval during which the cathode ray beam ray traces from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen before beginning the next race. There are two methods to eliminate this problem, which must often be used together. Um, so the first one is reset the scan rate of the monitor. Um, the first and best method is to reset the scanning rate of the monitor to 60 Hz. Please note that this is not always possible and for some monitors and SPGA adapters will not support will not support will, will not support 60 hertz however most will for example on windows computers right click anywhere on the desktop and select properties click on the settings tab and uh, now click on the advanced properties button in the lower right Usually, there will be a drop-down list of refresh rate selections at the bottom. Select 60 Hz, then click OK, and you will be OK. 24p shooters, or 24 frames per second, should try 100 Hz, which is a commonly available refresh rate. You won't find the selection for 96 Hz, which, which would be 4 times your frame rate and it's close enough to minimize the bar to a tolerable level. The windows will ask you to test the rate to be sure it works. So try that. Often you will need to reboot the computer for the new rate to take effect. After resetting the scan rate, you will find that the rolling bar is almost entirely gone. Uh, at most, you will generally have a narrow, darker or brighter bar that slowly moves on the screen. Generally, this is acceptable in many situations and you don't need to do anything else. Um, here's a quote that Jackman said. Uh, several years ago, I did special effects for a show where a bunch of computer monitors were visible on the screen. And he added all of them set to a different scan rate. The DP was frantically trying to adjust the camera clear scan, which is the, the shutter speed control to get rid of the rolling bar on the monitor, only to find it made another monitor look worse. <laughs> and he said, I went through all of the machines and changed the scan rates to 60 Hz, clearing up the problem the rest of the show, DB treated me like a genius. And tip number two is that most pro cameras have a clear scan feature specifically to deal with this problem. Clear 
Shutter Scan is basically an infinitely adjustable shutter speed that allows you to match the scan rate of the computer monitor or the CRT. So on your camera, adjust the dial up or down until the rolling bar is minimized. That is obvious. If the bar is black, reduce the frequency. If the bar is white, increase the frequency. Remember, read the manual. Fortunately, flat screen LCD screens have replaced CRT monitors in most situations, but not all. The prepared shooters will need to know how to deal with CRT rolling bars for several years to come. Future proofing, right? So with these couple tips in mind, I'm sure you will be more comfortable including CRTs on your shoot if needed. Thanks for watching. See ya.